We yeah. are here in studio, but we've got a guest of our own, and we're yes, excited to we welcome Kevin LePank inside the rink, which is what we call the studio here That's at right. NHL. Network. Another good American player. Yes, right exactly. There. It's very fitting, actually, yes. that this is happening on That's this day. Right. But uh, welcome inside. Thanks for coming in. We appreciate the time. Yeah, thanks. Good to be here, guys. And you've got your family in the house. You know yeah. I'm going to call this out right away. <laughs> Dad over in the corner. Yeah. So I assume yeah. when you're in this area, it's always a, a big family reunion a little bit. Yeah, I mean, you know, growing up, my cousins, aunts, uncles, you know, we treated them as relatives. So it's uh, it's always <laughs> fun having them come over. And uh, it's kind of overwhelming a little bit because you got to try and focus on hockey, but you want to see your family. Yeah. So, but it's so much fun. It's kind of like playing for free when you're out here. A lot of tickets. Yeah. A lot of tickets uh, for the New Jersey, yeah. New York games. Eh? Yeah. yeah, it definitely is. But, you know, it's worth it. They love coming to watch me play. Yeah, well, you're, you grew up in Staten Island, and uh, you played your youth hockey in this area, and then you've gone on to now play in the National Hockey League. What drew you to hockey as, as a young boy? What was it about hockey that uh, really turned you on? Well, uh, the guy that got me into it, it was my dad. All right, yeah. all right. Uh, I got to give him a lot of credit. Uh, we we played uh, roller hockey, and then, you know, he, he had uh, some talent. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, you know, that, that skill. He's that smiling he, over there. That's okay. <laughs> He's like, okay. Yeah, okay. but, uh, you know, it just kind of, from day one, I, I just kind of grew a passion and love for it. And, uh, you know, it was... Uh, it was uh, every day for us, you know, just playing. It was me, my cousins, and uh, my dad. We were playing roller hockey, and then you just kind of, it just grows on you. Talk, talk more about that. Your father, Milan, uh, he and I had a chance to connect kind of before we came on air today, but uh, Slovakian heritage yeah. is in your it's in your ancestry. He came over uh, at an earlier stage before you were born, but there's there's hockey in his background at a pretty high level. Yeah, he, uh, he played professionally in Slovakia, yeah. so it was... Uh, he knew he knows the game. Yeah, he's he's no stranger to it, and uh, you know he he taught me everything I knew. He was practicing with me. He was my coach, yeah. and uh, he's uh, he's on me when I have bad games. So. <laughs> <laughs> the upside and the downside. Yeah, exactly. right? And he knows what he's talking about. Which right. makes it worse because so like, oh man, worse. I can't really. Kevin, do you feel though, in part, and we see so many, we see so many young players now coming out of pro homes, guys, uh, young players where their fathers have played at a very high level. In some cases, their mothers have played at a very high level. Does that leave you in a, a better spot? You feel like, you know, that transfer to the pro level, maybe you've kind of got an understanding stepping into it, having kind of grown up in a home where pro hockey wasn't so foreign to you. Yeah, yeah, I mean. Uh... You understand it a lot more. Right. That that's a that's a big thing. And you know, my dad, he he understands the game, and it's something that you apply into your life. And uh, I mean, it's better than just going to the rink and kind of having somebody who doesn't really know much about it. Yeah. So, uh, I think my dad, he helped me a lot. And same thing with my mom, though. I got to give her a lot of credit. You know. She was uh, always driving me around. Oh, and, yeah. uh, a lot of driving. <laughs> a lot of driving. Lot of driving. It's a lot of miles on the, all the cars we had. Yeah. But it's, uh, we're a hockey family, so it's, it's a lot of fun. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but your family is, I hear they are diehard Rangers fans. So mm. when you're playing the Rangers, obviously they're rooting for you. You, but yeah. I, I, is it almost weird for them to be, <laughs> to be watching the Rangers at MSG and then to see you on the other side and be like, well, this is interesting. <laughs> I bought them the tickets, so they better be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Showing up in like lungfish jerseys. <laughs> yeah, but like I mean, when when we were younger, or when I was young, we always watched the Rangers, yeah. Rangers, Devils. You know, we were always uh, Rangers fans. But now uh, my dad, he's staying up till one in the morning uh, watching the game. So yeah, your yeah. sleep schedule must be yeah. totally. Uh, it's all A little different. <laughs> and like, you know, from what I understand, that you kind of uh, like Ryan Callahan, who works with us now. It's too bad he's not here today because yeah. he does some stuff with us. Was one of the guys that you kind of modeled your game on. I yeah, I thought Callahan. He was. He was the guy, right? He was. He was the guy. Yeah. He was, you know, he was short and he he had such a good work ethic when he was playing for the Rangers. So it was uh, something that a player that I looked up to and. You know, a player that I kind of mod modeled my game after. It's a good one. Yeah, it's a good yeah. one. Three years at the OHL, and now you've had a good block of time uh, playing uh, at, the, at the major pro level, NHL hockey. Uh, lessons you've learned, major challenges that you've, you've kind of addressed now that you've kind of got some games under your belt. What, what surprised you about the game? You know, <sighs> at this level. I think uh, just the experience in the locker room 
that uh, I kind of went into going into San Jose. You have Joe Thorne, I had Joe Pavelski, right. Patty Marlowe, and you know those guys. They uh, they really helped me a lot. You know they come to the rink every day and work. You know they don't uh, take days off. And guys like that, they're you know a little bit older, but they uh, they still come to the rink and yeah. they work hard and they work just as hard as uh, the young guys. So yeah. uh, I think that's the biggest thing is just make sure that you just work and. Uh, you're doing everything you can to better yourself. You know, it's funny because we just had the tape, I think it was yesterday, we showed Joe Pavelski. Maybe yes, we can run we it again it. of Joe just yeah. doing. You must have seen this about yeah. a thousand times, him just d tipping pucks in front of the net. You know, like, uh, that's the thing, though. Like, he, he does that before every practice. He was the first guy out there tipping pucks, yep. uh, and uh, that it's no wonder why he scored all the goals that he has. Yeah. Right? Because uh, he's, uh, he's comfortable with uh, mm -hmm. tipping them and... Uh, he practice. Does. Exactly, just well, practice. Yeah. We sound like broken records on this show because every time we see a video like that, I mean, we're on from four to six, so we get a lot of kids yeah. and teenagers that watch our show and tweet into the show, and we're always like, see, if Joe Pavelski practice. is still practicing yeah. when he's Joe Pavelski, then if yeah. you're at home and you're 12 years old, then you can be practicing As tips well. or even yep. just shots mm -hmm. uh, yep. to get better. So uh, it goes to show that the best always work on their game. Oh, no That's question That's for about sure. It. But no you, are, you are surrounded by some great players out in San Jose. But every time somebody comes here, they always got to visit Studio 42. We are in connection with MLB Network. Yeah, so, of okay. course, <laughs> you got your chance oh. to pitch a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And now you at the plate. Oh, oh okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Just run, Not swing. Bad. Uh, Not bad. Good swing. Oh, see, I, we got the low ceiling in there. Uh, you want to hit it out, yeah. you got to go line drive. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Oh, man. No, I, like, that, that's such a fun studio. Yeah. Oh, it's so cool, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, uh, we appreciate you coming in. And we appreciate you bringing your Hey, family listen, before, as well. before you go, come, Milan, yeah, come on out here. Be careful, <laughs> <laughs> careful walking out. Careful walking out. He doesn't we have a mic on, so we're not going to ask you to talk, but get in next to your dad, uh, just for <laughs> your son, I mean, for a quick second. There he is. We're talking about you a lot. We've got to give you a little time. Thanks for, uh, thanks for coming out today. And Kevin, the same. We really appreciate it. Yeah, yes, thank you've you. clearly raised a class act, so we Absolutely. appreciate the time. Enjoy your days in New York with the family, uh, and best of luck the rest yeah. of the season. Yeah.